الحمد للہ رب العالمین و صلی اللہ وسلم علی نبی محمد وعلى علی وصحبه وسلم اما بعد حبت فی اللہ ان حدیث قدسی The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam related that لَمَا قَدَ اللَّهُ خَلْقِ كَتَّبَ فِي كِتَابِهِ عَلَى نَفْسِهِ فَهُوَ مَوْضُوعٌ عِنْدُهُ إِنَّ رَحْمَتِي تَغْلِبُ غَدِّبِي The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that Allah the Almighty and Majestic said or that Allah the Almighty when He created and dec when He cre decreed the, the, the creation when He decreed the creation that He wrote or He decreed for Himself that and the, and it is in a book that is with him subhanahu wa ta'ala that verily my mercy supersedes my wrath and i believe this is a hadith in muslim in this hadith of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam The Prophet Sallallahu Rabbi Wasallamu Alaihi said that when Allah created the creation or when He decreed the creation so this has to do with the, the Qadr and the divine decree of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala that Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala upon Himself He decreed to Barak Wa Ta'ala and no one else and no one or nothing can decree anything for Allah or force anything upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or gain a right from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala except that He gives it. And that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala decreed this for Himself that His mercy supersedes His wrath. So, how does that affect our practice? That affects our practice and encourages us to seek the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala constantly. And to realize our Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala is merciful and the most merciful. And that by realizing that he is the most merciful and at the same time that he has wrath tabarak wa ta'ala and is shadid al-iqab that he's the most severe in punishment we will always between, be between hope and fear bi idnillah ta'ala in this life in this life in general except when we're at the near death then one will supersede the other but we will be between hope and fear hoping for the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, His Rahmah, and fearing His punishment for what we do and what we've done and what we say. And so the mu'min is between hope and fear, hoping for that divine mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the many sins that He or she has committed and fear, fearing and feeling shame about the wicked sins and deeds that he or she performs. And this is the affair of the mu'min. And so I encourage myself and my brothers and sisters not to ever give up hope on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and His mercy. And sometimes we see ourselves 
and we look at ourselves with our blatant, open disobedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we feel shame because we know we could have stopped certain sins. <clears throat> We could have done the right thing. We could have come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and did what pleases Him. Or we've done something which just seems to smell of hypocrisy. We say one thing and we do the other. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ya yaladina amanu, lima tukuluna ma la tafalu. Kabra maqtan indallahi an tukulu ma la tafalu. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Kitab al Kareem, O oh, you who believe, why is it that you say that which you do not do? This is, uh, you know, something major in the law. This is something detested and hated in the law that you say that which you do not do. And that Although we want the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But we see that if we do not practice what we preach, and this is especially a stern warning for those who call to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that they have to get right and strive to be obedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and avoid the sins and avoid wickedness and practice what they're called the people to. And there are many ahadith which show the, uh, the punishment of those who commanded the good, but not on themselves. And they prohibited the evil, but not for themselves. And there's many ayat and hadith which illustrate that this is something severe in the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to have continual mercy and favor upon us and bless us with ikhlas wa thabat ala sunnah and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us to come closer to him and leave off the wicked sins that we do in the day and in the night and be better slaves of his tabaraka wa ta'ala wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam